Hey, what's up, Delia? Coming back to you with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about my review of my first official effects pedal. Now, I've had different sort of massive guitar effects pedals that were kind of like in bad shape, but it was cool, but a little bit hard to control because all the buttons were worn off. But this is like my first like professional level effects pedal. This is the Collider. Okay, this is the collider delay plus hybrid uh, effects pedal from source audio uh, it's dual uh, dsp it has stereo effects on there and uh, this pedal really really grew on me because i was trying different effects pedal like i i was experimenting with sounds and using external gear to process your sounds instead of using plugins and I went and just bought a Behringer Reverb but I really didn't like how it sounded and the reason I didn't like how it sounded was because I was spoiled by Valhalla Reverb a lot of people have different opinions about that but I really liked how good that plugin sounded but this one sounds uh amazing and plus it has a delay block in it so let's talk a little bit about the Collider um in my context I don't use it with guitars but I'm experimenting using this with other things like uh, the synthesizer like the mini log and the hydra synth to create certain things it has two sides to it it has the delay side and it has the reverb side um, you can't see it in the screen but like the per the blue side represents the delay side and the yellow side is sort of like the reverb side and it has like 12 different types of effects that you could select from and you can mix between how much you want uh, between the two so you know you got your room your hall your true spring plate shimmer e-dome swell and on delay slide you got the oil can reverse tape analog my personal favorite is the digital and then you can control the tones and the typical things you can do wet dry on both sides they are not attached to each other and um, you can also change the time or pre-delay depending on which one you choose now selecting the different effect you choose would be right here on this knob right here. There's a little knob right here where you can sort of lock all the knobs if you keep it in the middle, but if you put it to the right, you got the reverb. If you put it to the left, you got the reverb. And then these foot switches right here can turn the rever reverb or delay effect on independent of each other. So it works great. I like how it sounds. Uh, it can take a mono signal, make a stereo, and it also has a USB interface to it so you can go under the hood there was some librarian effects so you can save your own presets on there and then it also has a MIDI in and a MIDI through so the MIDI in can come in and uh, receive beat clock from it instead of other things probably MIDI CC's I haven't looked too far into that because I don't really use that for that I'm just giving you my experience from it and then the beat clock is supposed to be able to pass through to your synthesizer I get different results with different synthesizers and how to receive beat clock through this sometimes i will put the beat clock source to the synthesizer first and then i will output it to this device or in other cases i'll put the beat clock to this first and then to to the synthesizer so you have different options there one of the things i don't like about it is the feedback or the time settings so by default it does quarter notes and what i like is that the digital does the stereo pan which is like i want that automatically i'm glad that it defaults to that you may not want it to pan stereo but i like it panning stereo from a mono source and having that stereo effect go along with that reverb and mixing it just right sounds really cool to me and you have different switches on here to select intervals and then you have a time adjustment for me sometimes it's hard to fish while the beat clock is going in and the sync is running to get that right interval of a delay tap in the right tempo. Sometimes it, it misses that. And it's like, you have to really kind of use your ears and feel around with the knob to determine if you are at the level that you want to be or at the interval that you want to be. Uh, this does come with some good literature to let you know what's under the hood because each knob does provide a different purpose depending on which effect you want to do. Um, this pedal is about around the $400 mark or $350. It's, it's, it's pricey, but you do get what you pay for because it's a very clean, very transparent effects pedal, for lack of a better term. And it's a full 
it's a full agram, it's full reverb. Like it sounds very high quality on here. And probably later on in the video, I'll probably do a demonstration with it. But I just wanted to kind of give you an overview about it and talk about my experience about it. As far as purchasing, I think this is a great first purchase if you want to step into this world, if you want to deal with sort of delay and reverbs. It's a good starting point. You're going to get a good result, a very stimulating result, uh, quality. You're not going to hear noise or hum. When you listen to the reverb, you're going to hear a stereo feel. It's going to sound like a really good reverb. It's going to be pleasing to the ears. Uh, the delay is simple. Sometimes I like to play with the feedback and then the tone and hear how it sounds differently and how it bounces back. And so I think this is a pretty, pretty cool investment. Now, compared to like the Behringer uh, reverb that I bought, you know, it can serve a purpose if you're just starting out because it's a very inexpensive. I think that's like almost like a less sub $40 effects pedal. And then this is like around 400 or 350. It's pricey, but I like it's worth the cost because I'm going to be using this for all kinds of stuff. I'm probably going to experiment using my voice with it, other instruments with it to create new stuff, new sounds for my music and for all that good stuff. So I'm happy I got this because this is part of my collection of stuff and um, I like it. I like it. So I just wanted to share my experience with you on this. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any effects pedal? Do you want to try some or do you want to stick with everything in the box? I'm very interested to hear what you have on that. I'm Dilio. You're watching Dilio T2K YouTube channel. We out.